Hi, good afternoon, yet again, from Nantucket Island, and welcome to Philosophy Pop-Up Workshop. It's a busy Saturday afternoon on a holiday weekend. It's Indigenous Peoples Day on Monday. A lot of people here for the three-day weekend. As you can see, this is going to be a very different video than the first one we did on the venerated Athenaeum. They are open for takeout, despite the building being shut since March 13th due to COVID. There's a construction project going on here, as you can see. There's the crane and all this, okay? There are going to be people in and out, uh, but nevertheless, we're going to try to do this with all the commotion and all the tourists and people returning things and picking things up and librarians here, we're going to do it because they're going to take this exhibition down very soon. The wonderful woman, a member of the staff here, has already had to reprint many of the things that are on the boards and tape them securely because the exhibition they set up yesterday was completely wiped away during the night. And our timing is very good because she just did this a few minutes ago. So I'm able to actually show you the exhibition. Whereas an hour ago, there wouldn't have been anything here. So let's go and do this. Again, we now, instead of having the primaries, we were here for the primaries back at the beginning of September. We did the video in August. This is for the national election, for the finals. And this gives you all the information you need, voter registration deadline, vote by mail application deadline, which is a little bit later, four days later, vote by mail submission deadline. You have to postmark it no later than Tuesday, November 3rd, election day. And it has to be received by the local election office no later than Friday, three days later. Okay, here's the early voting period. Here's deadline to request an absentee ballot, deadline to return completed absentee ballot. Okay, and then again, as we saw back in September, it's the 100th year anniversary of the woman's right to vote, women's suffrage, as it's called. Again, this was the Native American inspiration for women's voting and the background to that, chiefly having to do with the Iroquois Confederacy. Um, we, we also have minority uh, Americans, Chinese American women, who are very, very involved in, in women's suffrage. We also have Hispanic women and fight for the 19th Amendment in New Mexico. Now these you may have seen back in September. These were all on the board in September, or rather in August when we did the video prior to the September primary. While we're on this board, let's look around in the back because they have a couple of very interesting posters. And, and for anybody who appreciates Muhammad Ali, fascist clad, look at this. Absolutely marvelous. Okay, now let's go to the other board. And here is the marvelous staff member, Janet Forrest, who just retaped this <laughs> with such perfect timing for us. Okay, again, this is, this is what we have across the way. And then, as you may recall, we had this back in August. It's Frederick Douglass, who was spoken numerous times at the Athenaeum and one of the greatest civil rights leaders and was also instrumental, critical to women's suffrage later. Okay, here we have a black suffragist and civil rights activist. And a history of gay rights and the suffrage movement. This was not up here to my recollection back in August. So this is something new. Okay, and then again, we have posters come around. And uh, this, this is quite a poster of Kennedy Johnson. 
bring us together. Shirley Chisholm, one of, one of the most accomplished African American female politicians. Okay, so that's what we have. I must say, I want to emphasize, despite what it, how it may appear, this building is closed and has been since March 13th. The vestibule mule is open so that people can, you can see this gentleman. I mean, there are free books there. There are people's packages inside. Despite this being closed, and despite the fact that right now there's a serious construction project going on here, the wonderful staff here is still putting together exhibitions such as this that are so important to the community and really are important nationally. I hope every community is doing this. They put a lot of work into this. As I said, the weather has not cooper cooperated. At least we haven't had another rainstorm, but it's been extremely windy here for the last several days. And all of this blew down. She had to go and figure out what was put up and then reprint everything. And if you look closely, She's had to tape everything really carefully. And even with that, she had one of the items blew down in the time that I was waiting to do this. So we don't know how long this is going to be up. We know it will be taken down tomorrow morning. So we decided to do it while it's, this is partially open and there are people passing through. So that's pretty much the story. And I want to say God bless and all the best, and have a wonderful holiday weekend, whatever you do, and take care.